I'm Gilad Jaffet, founder and CEO of MyHeritage and proud supporter of Innovation Africa. Here in Zambia, I supported two villages, Chiundo and Paunonga, and uh, today we attended the tap opening. In Paunonga, you could hear and you could see the people gathering. And I think it was very special because for them, the taps were being opened for the first time. So you could see and feel the excitement in the air. And we did get to start the water for the very first time. And there were dozens of small kids who could not resist splashing in the water and throwing it over the faces and singing. And that was am amazing. We are in a very remote part of Zambia here on the border with Mozambique. Nobody gets here. There are no roads. It's very difficult, hence the government had problems supplying water and hence the work of Innovation Africa is so important in these rural villages. So nobody arrives and when a guest like me arrives, it's a huge party. And the party continued even after I left. I asked to visit the old water hole and a big chunk of the village joined me in jogging and singing and they were singing my name and I never felt so popular in my life. And it's very fortunate by the way that we're doing these projects now because there's a huge drought in the region and some of the existing water holes, not only that they are um, polluted and have scarce water, they're also drying out. I'm very impressed by the Innovation Africa team here at Zambia and the fact that we have a set of very enthusiastic and talented engineers. Uh, we have passionate people who really care about touching and improving the lives of millions of people across Africa. And you are not donating money that is paying someone's salary and nothing happens. This goes directly to help the population and you can see and feel the impact that it's having on the lives of millions of people. And so I think Innovation Africa is not just about finding the water and setting it up, but also making sure that it continues for many years, for decades. And that includes the monitoring, the sensors, which are a key part, and always maintaining the systems, visiting them a couple of times a year, making sure that everything is functional. So you know that this is a project that will continue to give value for many years, and also what I like about the approach of Innovation Africa is the fact that they train the local villagers and then they have a big part to contribute. They have responsibility, they have um, a committee, they have trained engineers, they gain valuable skills for life that they can use further on in their life, but also um, they are proud and they feel that the system is theirs. So you know that this is a sustainable solution for water for many years. And I think this is one of the aspects that sets Innovation Africa apart and make me a very proud supporter. Today, in Paunonga, they showed me the unfinished school that they were trying to build for years. But with all their struggles to get water, and, and, and we ran to the old source, it's very far away. And when you have to go there a couple of times every day, each time carrying back 20 liters of water and you don't have energy for anything else. So that school was unfinished. And I know that now it will be finished. And this gives the people an opportunity for a better life. So solving that problem, giving people clean water, and then you have health, you have education, you have entrepreneurship, and then the sky's the limit. I would say that this is um, a privilege and I think if you're lucky enough like me to have had some success in your business, think about how you can help other people. In Innovation Africa, you can help a lot of people very meaningfully with a relatively smaller budget and you know that it's helping the cause. So I warmly recommend it.